Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create a, a deliver, courier deli delivery process flow. And I will cover two examples courier delivery process flow and another is HR example. Okay, so let's say we have uh, different products and we want to deliver it to the customer. So we have several steps to uh, go through that process. Uh, first, we have notified them through email and SMS, then awaiting pickup in transit out for delivery we want to see the progress as in percentage and the status of that particular step and if the product has been returned by the customer so the status will be returned so how to do it uh, in excel so let's get start the first step is i need some check boxes so i will not using from the developer tab and in the insert i'm not using this form control because the limitation of this these checkboxes are that I have to manually add one 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 uh, checkboxes in each of the cell and then need to link this object with a blank cell um, as well manually so it will take a lot of time so what I will be doing is I am using Excel 365 which is the latest version and in the insert tab I have this uh, feature available of checkbox that automatically generates true or false values uh, on on the cells which you have applied okay so i will select the range okay where i need the check boxes and i am going to the insert tab and i will click on check box so i got the check boxes and now when i check you can see on the formula bar it's generates true and when i uncheck it's generate false okay so once i got all the check boxes what i need is is the progress percentage for each of the step so for that i will be using two functions and nesting them together the first one is count if so I will select the range of the first product and count if the range if it's the criteria is true and then divide that with count the number of uh, steps that will be using count a function for that and again we will select all the steps uh, involved and let's close the bracket so I have converted that already in a percentage format and when I go and check mark notified email and SMS so it says 25% progress has been done because there are four steps involved okay in your cases it could be more than four steps okay so awaiting reply okay so two steps has been completed in transit and then out for delivery so this is 100% progress right all right so this will work like that now we need to define the status as well once we check steps one by one so for that equals to x lookup lookup value will be false from this particular array okay which is the product range and then return array would be this headers okay make it absolute and the last step would be delivered okay and let's close the bracket so, so if you see the first example we have two steps completed awaiting pickup now this is in transit once it's completed then it's out for delivery as you can see here and once it is checked out for delivery it means it is delivered but what happens once the product is delivered the customers found that it, it's not appropriate or any other reason so he or she is returning that product so when I check mark this checkbox so instead of delivered it will be returned okay so for that we will be adding one more function that is simple if and we will say that if this this cell is equals to true then write returned otherwise in value false we will be using the logic of x lookup okay so once if it's returned so you can see the status is returned otherwise it's delivered right so we'll copy and paste this formula and now you can see that it's working absolutely fine right and if it's returned so that's returned okay what more you can do is uh, let's say you can apply the conditional formatting as well so all those uh, products which has been returned that should marked as a red raw so for that we can use conditional formatting so we'll select this entire data and we'll go to home conditional formatting new rule and we'll select this last option use a formula to determine which cells to format and we'll write a very simple logic here equals to if the status first cell will make the column absolute but not the raw if this particular cell is equals to returned then if this logic is true on the back end so we'll go to the format 
and we'll say that make it red or any other color you want to apply make it bold and font color would be white and let's say okay so now you can see that two rows which has been written has been highlighted right similarly i can show you here as well right and again we can check the tracker as well so all steps are being completed 100 percent and that's delivered so that's the logic for the progress we have used two functions count if and count if. and for the status we have used xlookup and we have also applied the condition for return status as well now this situation can be replica or this particular technical logic can be replica into any other business uh, logic as well for example in an hr uh, situation i have also created hr hiring an employee tracker so we have called certain candidates and we have notified them through email and sms uh, the written test has been conducted and we have called them for the interview and they have presented for the interview and what happens if someone is absent you can see that when i click absent here the status turned into absent and that is being highlighted draw right with the help of conditional formatting and we can go with the smooth processing let's suppose uh, you can see that uh, the first step has been completed 25 percent return test next then call for interview present for interview and then completed right or otherwise it could be absent okay, so these steps will not be there so i hope you have understood the logic how to make progress percentage and the status with the help of these functions and we have also explored conditional formatting and the checkboxes from the insert tab that's the uh, new functionality or feature added in excel 365 thank you